Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. This is Mama Roxy Says, and I'm here for your wallets, your purses, and your pocketbooks, baby. Your hearts and your minds. What's going on, everybody? How are you? How you feel today? Oh, it's been a rainy couple of days, but I'm enjoying the rain. It washes the troubles away. Anyway, <laughs> but it sure adds to that pain, though, don't it? It washes the trouble, and it helps with the soul, but it, ooh, it brings my body aching and pain. But I'm not tripping. Um... I've been all right, my babies. I've been back to the doctor uh, Friday, yesterday. And they told me that my lupus is out of remission and it's acting up. And um, they had to recheck me. And they found out that I do have neuropathy. And I was like, what does that mean? She was like, well, you're going to have to go every six months and they take care of your feet and your toenails. I do all that myself. But, hey, you can help me out if you want to. But um, they have to take care of that. And I think it's other things that go along with it. So uh, she's setting it up. Uh, a lot of people, you be like, uh, well, my mom always say, if you tell your age, you tell anything. I don't, I don't have anything to hide, y'all. I am an open book. If you ask me something, I'll tell you. I don't have no, no problems with that. Uh, some people uh, hide and lie about their weight and their age. I'm 50 years old, and I'm happy to be 50. I'm so proud. Um, I got a lot of medical issues going on, but hell, I don't look bad. <laughs> Actually, when I put my clothes on and throw a wig on, baby, hey, I am fabulous. Hell, I'm fabulous right now. You got me? And, um, I have been going to the pool and doing everything because of my little hand surgery. They had to cut the pool and everything out. Uh, I was 320. I eat. Um, I don't eat as much as I used to. No, actually, I lost uh, 15 pounds and I was 320. Uh, that was like two weeks ago. I then went back to the doctor, and I'm back to 331. I was so pissed off. I don't know what's going on with me. And my doctor, she is so amazing. Oh, my God, she amazing. And when I tell you that my little hospital is seriously working with me, they are working with me on everything. She was like, I cannot, I don't understand why that jump. And I was like, see, this is what I'm talking about. And it's so frustrating. It really gets up under your skin. And if you have a depression issue, that depresses you as well. So it brought me from way up here to way down here. <laughs> But I'm bringing myself back up because I don't let nothing hold me down for too long, you know. So, um, she talking to me. Um, we're going to speak to a nutritionist. Um, I had a nutrition before and she didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't get anything from her that I wasn't able to do on my own. You feel what I'm saying? So, I didn't like that. Um... Um, so they set up everything for a nutritionist. We are all going to figure out what's going on. I got a, a, a regular appointment with my primary doctor. And I, I've lately, right here, uh, it's like right here, I can hold it. Right here, up under my neck. I've been having like issues with swallowing. 
um, feeling like something is in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. So I prop when I prop myself up like this, I and I can push it back like this, I can almost feel it. And it flares up every now and then. So she was like, Roxy, we need to go see if that's like a thyroid issue. If that's a thyroid thing, then that's the reason why your weight won't go nowhere. And I was like, ah, oh, but I can I can feel it. I can't see it, but I can it's like when I swallow or I do something or something certain that I eat, it'll 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 act up. And it feels funny. So I got an appointment with her Monday and I gotta get there. Um other than that, baby, that's what's been going on with me. Um I'm sluggish, I'm tired, um, body shutting down. That's all the part of the lupus and the fibro and everything else that's going on. Connective tissue, neuropathy. My tips of my toes are blue. But like they're not getting any oxygen or any blood flow. But I have to keep, I hate, I cannot stand wearing socks to bed. But since I have neuropathy and since my feet act up, I keep socks on. So I be in the stores like lately trying to find cozy socks that's not, that don't have a lot of like the elastic part in it. Something that's going to be able to stock a sweet in and keep on and walk around in because I can't stand for my feet to get cold. They will ball up. And my toes will be going in different directions. And my good googly, muggly, it hurts. What do you want? Nothing. I don't think you can sit right here. I have a... <laughs> Say hello, everybody. Hi, uh, let me place my hair. <laughs> yes, y'all. Stitches and all. I got so tired of him walking around here looking like a hoo hank. <laughs> Put your head down. It's been up for a couple of days, and it's time for And he's so proud of it. Get up. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Go close the door. You look at the back of my hair. They, they, y'all, he wants you to look at the back of his hair. <laughs> he's so country. Bye. Close the door. Close, why why do you drive by? Close the door. Come on, man. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. I'm out of here. He's messing with my toolbox. Get out of here. Y'all, I know. I know I got stitches in my hands and all that stuff. But I got so tired. But I'll tell y'all what. When I finished, good googly muggly. <laughs> I was hurting. Hands pulled up. Everything. But listen here. This video is about some home essentials. Things that you got to have. You can't be in your house and don't have these things. Yeah. So I'm going to start off. I started off the other day with showing y'all the stuff that I, uh, my pots and pans and everything that came from Walmart. I love my dishes. But anyway, I showed y'all it. I started showing y'all the collection for my bathroom. So what I'm going to do, y'all, is I'm going to do a home essential thing. Things that you really need and you know you can't do without. And just some home decor stuff. It's going to be a, a couple of days and you might see me with the same shirt. So I might try to make as many videos as I can today to get started. And this is going to be my second one and I'm going to do towels today that I have collected ever since I know that I was getting ready to move. Um, so let me tell y'all something. This is a journal. This is one of my many journals. My son brought me from, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that store. Uh, Bonnie Bird Gator is always in at five below. <laughs> And he bought me this, and I love my little book. It's so soft. It's gray with the orange on it. It is gorgeous. So, what I do in this journal, this is a special journal. And in this journal right here, 
is I know that I'm getting ready to move. So what I do is every time I go online to different stores, like this is an Amazon thing, right? And this is my Amazon page, and it has down all the things that I would like to order from Amazon. And I write it down with a number and everything so I can check on it, see if it went down in price or anything like that. So the next pages that I have, I go for every room. Like when I get ready to move, I know that I need for my office and I write down the inventory, things that I already have and things that I need to purchase. You feel what I'm saying? That way, you ain't overbuying stuff. You ain't spending something for something, spending extra on something that you already got. And it's the same thing with the kitchen. Every time I make a purchase for a kitchen, and because I'm starting over new, I don't have anything that goes in the kitchen like nothing. So what I did was it say kitchen things you need to purchase, right? And it goes all the way up to plates, to pots, to the coffee maker, to toaster, the microwave, to the, uh, I want a round, I've never ever had a round dinner table. It's always been either glass, the long ones, or it's been the pretty wood. I want something different this time. I'm going to go with round. And then it tells you about uh, utensils and everything. That makes it where it's kind of easy on me. So every time I make a purchase for the bathroom, for the kitchen, or the office, I'll write it down in my journal. And it lets me know how much I have, what else I need, and everything like that. Now, when it goes to the bathroom accessories, you, as you notice, everything is in coded, it's, it's color coded for the things that I need for the bathroom and things that I've bought, I brought already for the bathroom. And I'm loving it that way. So right now, if I just stick to the bathroom, the bathroom will be done. If you got two bathrooms, you put two of whatever you need and two of this, you will actually be done. All I got to do now, I, I'm actually done with the bathroom and I bought everything that I needed for my bathroom. So now all I got to do is staple them two pages together because I'm done with that. I can't. I've started on my bedroom um, with the comforter that I showed you and... I am ordering another comforter. I want everything white and whatever accent color I decide to go with, that's the color. Um, you know, it's been pink and white for me for a minute. So I'm going to show you, excuse me, the pink items that I've collected so far with the bedroom, for the bedroom and different things like that. And it goes on for the front room. It goes on uh, to a guest room if I have one. Office. And then it uh, and it starts all back over again. After I didn't purchase everything that I needed. Like the big items. Then I'll go to buying my supplies that I would need for my house. Such as deodorant, soap, tissue, all that stuff. And it'll be stacked up. And you ain't got to worry about oh I need this or oh I gotta go get some plates and I got to get you ain't gotta do all of that you are stress free stress free so what I'm showing you today are towels that I have collected over the time and I packed them up in a bin that was made just for my towels now this is, they call it a waffle towel because of the way that it's made right now with the little designs on there. It's nice. It's thick. It ain't thick, thick. So the waffle design is only on the front of the towel. And this is what the back of the towel looks like. And I think I got this towel for like $3. And I got this from the Room Essentials. And I got this from Target. So I got me 
I'm not going in any order, y'all, with the towels that I have. I'm going in the way that they're packed in my container. So that's what I'm putting out right now. That's what I'm pulling out, actually. So I was, you, you can never, I'm going to stress this. You can never, ever, ever have enough towels, no matter what kind of towels they are. Uh, room essentials and this is the gray one and it's made the same way with the waffles uh, design and plain on the back now while I am storing these tiles I have a uh, it's a smell good little packet that I had got from Burlington's coat factory and these tiles are 30 inches by 52 inches so this is the bath towel. I got me two grays. This is the other gray. And hold on, you guys. I got me two grays. Y'all saw it when I helped when I hauled this one. This is like a my uh what you call this towel? It was so cute to me. This is my uh, swim towel that you take to a beach towel that I take to the beach. It was in there, so, and I had got it on sale for like about, I think it's like $4. This is my other essential white towel that I got from Target as well. And like I said, I had caught these towels on sale for $3. I was like, oh my God. So, in the process of buying the towels, I happened to get in my, and y'all, they had the cutest little white rug. This is how it looks. It's the bottom part, and this is the top part right here. It's nice. It's soft, and it's not made, like, cheapy, but I really like it, and it's bath rug made by designs. It's a 17 inch times 24 inch. And I love the way I feel. I think I got this rug for like $4. I was like, yes. <laughs> Honey, anytime I can find me a deal, I'm getting it. Okay. I got so many of these towels. And these towels are by mainstay. I'm wondering, hold on, y'all. These towels are by mainstay. And it's four in a pack. And these are little handheld washcloths. And they were for a daughter. They 11 inch by 11 inch, right? And this is what they look like. I got Oh my goodness, I got like three, hold on, three of those, and then I saw them in a pink and white. You know, you cannot beat having them little face towels. I was like, oh, like I said, when you have guests that's coming, you have family that's over, you're going to need everything you think that you can have people go through so many towels and you don't want to get stuck with having to okay well grab them towels up you gotta wait till i wash them you don't want to do all of that so my next little item these towels right here i'm gonna unroll them for you and i keep them rolled up and my little stash of towels these are called cotton combs and these are these like this now this towel is thin and I actually ordered this they thin but it's a towel it's a thin towel I'm not gonna tell you that they are gonna last a long time but I ordered a set of 24 from Amazon I am going to uh, put them down in the, or in, the, in the description for you. But I ordered a set of 24 towels. These are not 
real thick none whatsoever that's why you get so many but if you if you use them you grab them up take them in and put them in the thing and hey you got a set of tabs that's going to last you for a little while i don't know how long i haven't used any of them so what i do is to store them until I get ready to stack them and knead them for when I move I just take a nice little ribbon and I put my ribbon around them and I store them for later so this was a set of one two three four five six seven eight these are eight face towels in here now I got eight more you, you, you understand where I'm going with this? They are not your fancy, extra thick, um, beautiful uh, towels. When you are on a budget and you moving into somewhere, your money is very limited. I'm looking for as many bargains as I possibly can to get in, start up with, and then as I go, I build up to my expensive towels. I got like one, two, three, four. Now I ordered two sets of these towels. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five of them. That's what I have. I have five. Five white towels. Now, and it's a set of 24. So, that's 48 washcloths that I can have in my house. Christmas is getting ready to come up. If I wanted to give some away, I could do that too. There's nothing like having a nice... Oh, a, a washcloth to wash your body with. All right. This is another little beautiful towel that I ordered from off of Amazon. And as you can see, it's nice, it's thick, and so, so, so soft. And this is by Leaves Softer. If you can see that and I love the little design is front and back and this is okay you got your you got your bath towels you got your uh, face cloths or wash cloths and they call handheld towels and I love the way they look they were fold up so nice over a top of a gray mm. and these are fine it's called fine cotton I got me two of these and it has a little design on the end these are so worth the purchase they are very soft very plush looking I love the way they feel when I run my hands across them because like I told you, I haven't used them and they don't feel cheap, none whatsoever. My next set of towels that I have are these. I started to go with like having some gray curtains or yeah, like a pretty gray and then throwing these little colorful towels up in my bathroom. Now, these are a TJ Maxx. These are TJ Maxx. And this is how they look. Very colorful. They got the yellows, the pinks, the burnt oranges, the grays, the little uh, minty greens and pinks. They are gorgeous. I like the way they look. And... It was a set of, it was a set of two of these, two hand towels, 
and two bath towels. And I think I paid $26. 26 or $27. I think that was $28 for the set, which I really liked. I thought that they were cute. And I wanted something different. And these are the handheld towels. And these are what they look like. This is the end of the towel. Very nice and soft. They are a little thicker than the ones that I've ordered off of Amazon. These are nice and thick. And they are the Soho Living. That's who they're by. Soho Living. And these are 100% cotton. So I got two face towels, I got two hand towels, and I got two bath towels for from Target, not from Target, but from um, TJ Maxx for like $28, and I loved them. I was like, okay. So my next little set of towels are all white as well. Now these are the ones. That come from Target. I am so sorry. Um, these got from Room Essentials. I think they are the same. I don't think they are the same. I can't see it. But these are from Room Essentials. And I think I got these from Target. I'm not for sure. But I'm going to have to look. And these are how they are made. Right here. Uh, with the little stitching. And the little design on the bottom. Um, I like them. I really do. They real soft. I don't know what I got on them. They real soft. I got something on them. They real soft. I like the way they feel. They don't feel cheap. They nice and they're thick. And I like them. I got two big white ones that are plain as well. These right here are the pink ones. You know, the ones that go with the set that I showed you. And here goes a big tail like this. It smells so good from being in the thing. And that's how that goes. Now, how I keep them, I use, I put this inside of, this is a fragrance pouch. And I love the way this smells. And this is, uh, I don't know the name of this one, but this smells so good. And when I open up my towels, that's what I smell. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. And this one, this is a Walmart. I love the color of this towel. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. This is just so pretty to me. Look at the color on this tail. This is Mainstay. And this is a performance bath towel. 100% cotton. This is a 30, 30 by 40, 30 by 54 inch. Look at that. It got the pretty little lines on there. This is such a long towel. I love the way this look. I'm like, oh, gorgeous. Such a gorgeous color. And they almost go with the little pink a little bit. I'm like, oh. Y'all, I love, love having towels. I like to, I keep them stored away. In a Walmart black bin. That's what I have all of them in. And I'm sorry, y'all, my nose is irritating. And that's what I have them in. I have me two of the big pink pretty ones. I just love these towels. You can never, ever have enough towels. I promise you that. Because you always, I'm, I stay in the shower. I stay in the shower. I stay in the tub all the time. And I got one towel that I am 
that's old that I'm taking with me. And it's this towel. And it's because my mom gave this towel to me. I love this towel. And it got the beautiful little design on it. And it's just this pretty. And this towel comes from uh, by Cast Castec Roma. Roma. Castec Roma. It's 100% fine ring cotton. So when I saw my mom, she gave me this towel. And I love the way it looks. I am getting the essential things that I need right now. And when I get to my destination, I will have the things that I need and I'm going to be all right. That's how you know you are going to be all right because you're going to have all the things you need to start over with. And if you're not starting over, you still can make it where it's easy on you when it comes to Christmas or when it comes to whatever day. All you got to do is pick up your little book, your little, excuse me, your, your little book and you going through that and you be like, okay, I got this, I got this. Or say like come to Christmas and you pull out your little journal and in your little journal you got, I got for Christmas, I got 15 to 25 little reindeer that you hang on the tree. I got 30 little pretty red apples. I got two big reindeers, gold. So when you get ready and you going out there, in the stores, right, you are not picking up extra. You picking up just what you need to make your 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 collection pop or uh or, or to just to add just right. Like for my for my dinner set for Christmas, oh honey, I I, I got the gorgeous little plates. And I started off with the plates that come from Goodwill. I found the most amazingest plates that come from Goodwill. So I needed, I had like a set of four. I had six big plates, but I really didn't have um, like the little extra, like the bowl and everything that went with it. So I ended up and went to TJ Maxx and found the perfect mat set that goes with the exact color and everything. So that way, I was able to be like, okay, well, I got this. I didn't overspend. I was able to get some of the other things or something else that I wanted or maybe another gift or something. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right now, I am actually done with getting bathroom stuff. Right now, I am done with getting bathroom stuff. Unless, you know, unless I got everything else I wanted and I pop up and I see the most amazing towels with, with this incredible design on here and then I can splurge I could be like okay I got everything else I need and these towels right here are on point <laughs> see this is what I did when I left Chicago I made sure that I had everything I needed from food to home supplies, to tiles, to sheets and comforters, I made sure that I had enough for my family, for us to survive, just in case something happened and we didn't get a job right away or we didn't, this didn't happen right away. We still were able to be comfortable you know what i'm saying we still was able to have 
food. It might not have been what you wanted, but it was what you needed, and it was enough to get you through. And that's how I feel about moving. When once I thought that I was, once I said that I was getting ready, excuse me, to go to Arizona, baby, I started collecting. I started getting them bins that I had from Chicago, and I started putting things in them bins. I was like, okay, I started my book with things that I needed and everything. Now, when the time comes, if I'm finished with my bathroom right now, if I get some, I'm on my kitchen as we speak, I got the dishes I got other little cute little things already that I will put into my kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like decor or something. But right now, I have the essentials that I need to go into my house and be like, okay, well, I ain't got to borrow a pot and pan. I ain't got to borrow no dishes. I ain't got to borrow no knives. I don't want to ask nobody for no glasses. None of that. Because I have that. Get ready. The next thing that I order for my house is going to be the microwave and the coffee machine. I'll have that because I love to drink coffee. And um, and you just keep going. And every time I get something, I go in my little book and I check it off in the book. And I'm like, okay, hmm, I got, I got everything I need. And I don't have to go worry about nothing. I'm not running at the last minute because once I get there, I'm going to tell y'all this. I want y'all to know that my channel, I'm going to continue to be Mama Roxy says, and we're going to have our talks. But, honey, we're going to decorate. We're going to have cooking time. We're going to have time where we do so many different things together, you know. That's what that's about. And I I need that change in my life. And it's coming. But while it's coming, I know that my God is getting me ready. And I know that he's going to find me the nicest place ever. I already know. So what I got to do is get the stuff that go in it. You understand what I'm saying? could get no better than that. That's right. So when time come, if if, if if one of my kids come and they want to stay all night, I don't know, mom, I already got everything is labeled. Labeled and ready. And all I got to do is just go, hey, you got a towel? Gotcha. But I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want to go too long on this video, but this is just the second essentials that you need for your house. Your towels are a must-have. You got to have towels for your house. You can never have enough towels. And I'm a person. You may come in. You may come visit me two or three weeks, right? You may come in on the third week and like, I had to come see you, girl. The bathroom can be then changed from the pretty royal blue and whites and silvers and, and whatever color that I'm going to figure out to go with it. It can change from that to uh, a pretty pink, um, a dark pink and and just it, it, could, it can go from anything. I like being able to do that. You know, that's one of the options of having uh, being able to decorate and make your make your house, make your apartment or your house feel like it's yours. But with that being said, y'all be seeing me in a minute um, with a mirror essential for the apartment. I got some mirrors that I cannot take down to show you guys because they are humongous, okay? But uh, I'm going to show you the little mirrors and the pictures that I've ran across in shopping for 
my uh, house or an apartment, whatever the case may be. But I love you. This is Mama Roxy Says. Enjoy your day. Smooches.